So I've been talking about Obsidian and knowledge management for like, it's going on what, three years or something like that now? It's been, it's been a while. And the entire time I've been doing this, I have been giving away my template vault. You know, you wanna use the things that I created or use my systems or look at it and you know, reverse engineer things and make it work for you. I've always given that away for free. Uh, it just you sign up for my newsletter, you get the template vault. Simple as that. And you know what? That's not gonna change. But there are some things that are gonna change. And while I explain like some of the issues that have come up and why I'm doing all of what I'm gonna tell you about, uh, there's gonna be some big changes. But I think you might really like it. And so, so that you're not just staring at my face talking about a lot of stuff, uh, let's watch my little graph time lapse so that we're not all just bored watching Brian's face the whole time. So let's talk about my Obsidian template vault. So what are the issues? With my template vault, there have there's always been issues. And namely, it comes down to I've always found it difficult to grab a copy of my vault, strip it of any like personal information, potential secrets, uh, things that should not have been shared in a template vault because it's supposed to be basically a template and a copy of what I have, but not overly uh, saturated with my personal notes, information, yada yada. And I even accidentally uh, put out a copy that had my Readwise token, uh, like API token in it, which is not good. API tokens are supposed to be something that you keep very secret. So this has been an ongoing issue of how can I easily and quickly create updated versions of my template vault while not adding all my personal stuff to it and not accidentally adding secrets to it. The other issue related to that is putting out new copies when I create changes and updates, which happens all the time because I'm constantly experimenting, you know, paring things down, trying new plugins, removing them, and Ultimately, everything is always evolving. It's been an ever-evolving system, and it always changes. It even changes between the videos that I post. And so, the another issue is just then, how can I put out new copies of it so that you sign up for the newsletter, you see a video you like of mine, I showed something new, you sign up for my newsletter, you get a copy of the template vault, and it doesn't look like what you just saw me doing in the video. It's an older version. That's, you know, it's a problem. And so keeping those versions updated even between videos has just been a massive struggle and a headache. And sometimes I just don't have, you know, the coins to get on the task of updating it, putting on a new version. And I just try to hot fix the situation by saying, hey, just email me and I'll send you the thing. Which, is, which further compounds the issue of I don't have the coins, the mental processing coins to spend on just fixing the root issue. And then I have all these new emails and I'm already bad with email because of the same issue. So it's just been a big problem. And ultimately, let's say you even got a template, the copy of the template vault, you're happy, you're using it, everything is good in life, but that was three months ago and now there's new updated content something broke and now there's a new uh version of a template that brian has been showing you in a video and you want that how do you get an updated copy of the template vault now there's always ways of hacking things on the internet i'm not going to drop them here because you know it's not what i would prefer you to do but you know and, and something that i might do would be like oh we'll re-sign up for the newsletter or like, whatever it's just let's it's just a hassle like why should it be so hard to get an updated copy of the thing that you already, you know, I did the thing, I signed up, I want the updated copy. I want to always have the updated copy. I signed up, I did what you asked. So that, these are, this is another issue. After you've already gotten the thing, how do you get and keep the latest version of the thing? So with all of these issues going on, how have I actually solved the problem? Now, I will say that, you know, it's not a, a foolproof solution. There's still things that I'm, I'm working on. I'm going to be updating it over time. But I now have, like, an idea about how I'm going to approach this uh, solution. So let's talk about that. All right, that's enough staring at my graph. So how have I solved this issue or this problem? So there's a couple of things that I'm changing. But one thing I'm not changing is if you sign up for my newsletter, you get my template vault everything in it for free. That's not changing. Nothing there is changing. 
I've been thinking about how like I've been had issues with the channel not making so much because like I for I just don't have it in me. I don't have the coins to create new videos with to the quality that I like and not necessarily the editing quality because I can't afford an editor and I'm not great at editing, but like the quality of the content. I like to really dive into the, the meat of an issue, really dissect it, lay it all out, instructions, uh, just fully comprehensive things, the way that I like to do my content. And I just haven't had the mental coins to actually put forth enough content to keep up with, you know, the algorithms that determine how much my channel might make me. And I got things to pay for, mainly because my expensive hobby behind me. And so I was thinking, how can I like make more money on my channel? But one thing I don't like to do is I don't like paywalling information, especially because like I'm really big about like, you know, open source, big about uh, open academia and, you know, the freedom of human knowledge and information and just I feel kind of scummy if I paywall something, especially when to me, like, it's not always the most complicated stuff. Uh, and then the whole conversation of like, well, you know, get what you're worth, you're, you paid the time and the effort, yada, yada. I recognize that, but at the same time, like, I don't feel comfortable with that. And I told people before, hey, when are you going to put out a product, uh, Brian, when uh, something around, you know, academia and some of your, like, workflow stuff here, like, oh, you should charge for a product like that. Like, people have told me I should charge for a product like that. And ultimately, I just respond back like, I'm not in academia. Ultimately, I'm not a great authority on how to approach academia because I'm not an academic. I'm not in that environment living and breathing that workflow. Like, I, I dabble, I read research papers, I do things with research, but I'm not an actual academic and I don't feel comfortable charging for something where I'm acting like an authority to do that. So where's a good middle ground? Something that, you know, lets me monetize the channel more without feeling scummy about it while still providing value to those who might not necessarily be able to afford things. So let's enter the solution. So what I've done is you want my template vault, sign up for my newsletter, you still get it. It's still free forever. I'm not really going to change that. I, I thought about it and I decided, no, I, I don't like that idea. So what I've done is I'm treating my template vault basically as a software project now. It's in GitHub and I have, you know, automations to keep this updated fairly live. If I actually refresh this, this is kind of old. Um, I have this basically running on a uh, syncing script so that essentially this updates live anytime I change anything myself. So anytime anything happens, uh, this is not showing the live version because it's on a tag. There we go. So anytime I change something in my vault, there's a syncing script that updates it in near real time. It'll be probably every hour so that if I need to fiddle with something, it's not spamming people with updates, but this is gonna be a live view of the vault. And it's private. How do you access it? GitHub sponsors. So why, why treat this as a software project? So one of the main reasons is, one, this is a great location to just put plain text files, which is all a template vault really is because of the beauty of Obsidian, everything's plain text files. So after all these files are here, because of GitHub sponsors updates, it actually allows me to do things like saying this private vault is available for sponsors only. There's that, you know, that, that paywall barrier mechanism, which is just nice. And especially because on GitHub sponsors, it's the one payment platform to receive support as a creator that doesn't charge fees. If we're talking about something like Patreon or buy me a coffee, all of these things actually incur fees, which means if you sent me $5, I'm not getting $5. So if you use GitHub sponsors, which is what I highly prefer and recommend for supporting myself and anybody else who's on uh, a creative thing and they have GitHub sponsors, do GitHub sponsors. It's the best thing to support us at the immediate moment, no fees. But the other benefit of doing this as a software project for you is that it lets me easily figure out a current stage of time. Like say I release a new video, I update my templates or the syncing script does it for me. Bam, the repo is the most updated form of the template vault. Then I can easily just tag a particular update as a release copy that release, the zip file, everything, and just put that where the newsletter deals with. I don't have to manually do anything with this anymore, which makes it so much easier for me to then update things for those who sign up to the newsletter for the first time. 
I think this is the best idea I've had for this to make everyone happy and keep on top of this because if you've messaged me about this before I've always said like I need to update it it should be in the template vault it doesn't match oh my gosh that's like there's been so many issues about it so now hopefully this is an easier way for me to keep on top of updating it but should you decide to support me you don't have to wait for me to actually make a release you get the cutting edge in real time even when I'm just messing with things you as a sponsor will have like immediate live access to what my vault looks like and that includes every plugin every setting every configuration everything the way i'm using it now today live will be in this vault you subscribe to get sponsors to any support level any of my tiers um any of these standard tiers of support on a recurring basis will get you access to this vault and i'll put links to all of that you know here in, in the description whatever so you'll see all that stuff now after you know i'm updating the newsletter template vault that people will receive for free and you get the live access here is that enough to really justify this in my mind no it wasn't so what other value can i provide to people who choose to sponsor and support this channel me and this project so i'm actually going to be trying to put more effort into the things that people will receive for supporting me the channel because again, because of you know lack of coins, mental processing, just my executive dysfunction, autism, ADHD, all this stuff, I have had a lot hard time really putting enough effort and energy into the channel that I want to, but I just can't. I couldn't. So one thing I'm going to be doing is you know implementing some automation with this vault, with this template vault uh, on the on the GitHub repository, CI/CD stuff for those who are nerdy and know what CI/CD means. But it'll do things like, hey, if I reference a tool or a URL inside of a document, I'm going to have it check. If any of those links die, I can keep on top of that. If I accidentally commit like secrets, like my Readwise token again, um, it won't let me do that. It will inform me. So it's just it's easier to manage for me, which means you get more frequent releases and updates. And it, there, there will be more about, about that. But even beyond that is just I'm going to actually create more template documentation, guides, informational stuff to go into the vault so that you can pick up what you're trying to do inside the vault. And there's documentation and ideas and suggestions and other things about it. So increasing the value of what you're getting. And again, as I update things live, you will have full access at every moment in time. Now, if you're already like supporting me on Patreon or anything else on a subscription basis, I highly suggest you move to GitHub sponsors. It's better for me, it's better for you, and you get to have access to this. If you're not supporting me in any way possible, this is the best way to do it. Uh, and if you just subscribe to my newsletter, you will get access to the latest version of this template vault. And ultimately, if people just ask me, hey, I'm already subscribed, can you send me the latest copy? I I'm really bad with email. I really prefer you don't do that because it's a negative impact to me to have tons of emails doing that. But if you did, I I do send out the updated version. I, I'm not, you know, I'm not weird about it. It's it's fine. I ultimately I want to help people provide value and make things simpler. I want you guys all to be successful, uh, guys, gals, anybody. I want you all to take these things and the information I put out on YouTube and be successful with it. Uh, that's ultimately my goal. I just like talking about this stuff. That's why I started YouTube, is I just like to talk about this stuff. And you like to listen? Awesome. That's why I keep making videos. So if I can do this and be more helpful, provide more value, while still also achieving my goal of, you know, kind of monetizing the channel a little bit more and helping me pay some of my debts while battling with, you know, executive dysfunction and all this stuff, then I think this is probably the best way of going about it. I'm open to suggestions. I'm, I'm open to, like, hear ideas. What, what would you like to see added to this kind of template vault? And that's something that you know I'm open to, especially because as a sponsor and with access to this uh, project, you can file GitHub issues. We can do GitHub discussions. Like there's more conversations. You ask questions, I can update the documentation. You open issues because something's broken or weird, I can fix them. It's basically a software project on GitHub. And it will be something I refine constantly over time, especially because those who support the channel through these means and access this vault are the ones who are going to be paying basically for me to be doing this work, which is something I really want to do. I want to put this out into the world for you all and the supporters are what make it possible. And ultimately, 
some of the best support you can also do is using my, my consulting service. If you didn't know, check out my website. I actually offer consulting. Um, if you are interested in that, I've had a lot of great reviews from people. You simply fill out a survey, tell me what you're looking to talk about. I do research, I come prepared to the meeting, and we try and get some major value to you for the time that you're trying, that you're purchasing from me. So these are the ways that I'm trying to move forward with the template vault. I hope this is helpful and provides more value to you. And uh, let me know your thoughts. Check things out. Links to my GitHub sponsors will be here, there, ev everywhere. And uh, yeah, I hope it helps. Catch you all in the next one.